Once upon a time, in a land of rolling green hills and ancient castles, there lived a young boy named Arthur. He was born to a royal family, but his destiny was hidden from him. You see, Britain was in turmoil back then, and the land was divided into many warring kingdoms. One day, a great wizard named Merlin, with his long white beard and wise eyes, revealed to the world that a new king would rise, a king who would unite the land and bring peace. To find this destined king, Merlin arranged a test, the famous sword in the stone. The sword in the stone was a magical sword stuck deep within a heavy stone. It could only be pulled out by the true king of Britain. Many tried and failed, but young Arthur, who was just a humble squire at the time, stepped forward. With a strong tug, he miraculously drew the sword from the stone, and the people knew he was their rightful king. With his trusty sword Excalibur by his side, Arthur gathered noble knights from all corners of the realm. They met at a round table, where no one knight was more important than the other. The Knights of the Round Table, they were called. Together, they pledged to uphold honor, justice, and truth throughout the land. King Arthur's reign was marked by many grand adventures and quests. He and his knights fought fierce battles against evil sorcerers, dragons, and wicked knights. They even embarked on a quest to find the Holy Grail, the sacred cup of Christ, which was said to hold great power. But not all was well in Camelot. There was a love story too, a complicated one. Arthur's beautiful queen, Guinevere, and his loyal knight, Sir Lancelot, fell deeply in love. Their secret love affair led to great sorrow and betrayal. In the end, King Arthur faced his greatest challenge, a treacherous battle against his own nephew, Mordred. It was a fierce and tragic battle, and Arthur was mortally wounded. With his loyal knight Sir Bedivere by his side, he commanded that Excalibur be returned to the Lady of the Lake from whence it came. As the boat drifted to Avalon, Arthur's wounds were healed, and he disappeared into the mist, promising to return when Britain needed him most, for he was the once and future king 